a win's a win, isn't it? A shame it's not in the Liga, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think, first and foremost, it was brilliant to get a, a W after our name. To score three goals on a clean sheet. And I thought uh, a really good all-round performance in both halves this time. Uh, especially coming off the, the back of a disappointing evening on Tuesday. Uh, I think that the lads were absolutely magnificent for me. Um, went to the well again. That's three games in a week for some of them as well. And to produce a performance like that. Uh, today is, is testament to him. Well, uh, we haven't had a running trophy for a long time. Uh, it, it's a nice distraction, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's what I said to him yesterday. It's a, a realistic uh, cup competition we we can progress in. Uh, and obviously the carrot at the end of it is, is going to Wembley. And yes, it is a distraction, but also th this is kind of a confidence boost for the boys as well. They've taken on a team that's above us in the table. Um, and we've dominated the, the the vast majority of the game, even going down to ten men. Um, yeah, we we dominated, scored goals, you know, and that was the pleasing all round all round thing for me. It's, it's the reaction we had from Tuesday, the disappointment from Saturday, obviously the disappointment Tuesday, and to come and put in the performance today. You know, I'm very proud of the players today. Well, a lot of people spoke of the uh, league game we played against uh, Kettering. They said we were bullied uh, that game. I think you were in the crowd for that one watching. What was the difference between then and today? I think the the boys had a little bit more belief about them. I think there was five players that played in that game. Obviously, the additional ones we've brought in have, have added something a bit different to us, give us that also that little bit of physicality but can still play. Um, and I think that when we play front foot, we're a match for any team. We showed that first half against Kidderminster where I thought it was probably all round one of our best performances. And Obviously, second half was the disappointing factor of me. But for today, you know, I, I can't put anything really... Of any real note that went wrong, uh, and that's you know that's full credit to them. They had a, a kind of a rest day on Thursday. Yesterday we obviously changing the shape. We we done a little bit of um, you know a little bit of work on it yesterday. Nothing too in depth, and it was just today was all about them. Today was all about them and their reaction to first and foremost how the season's been, uh, and the reaction for Tuesday night. Well, uh, Ollie Holbert, his goals fantastic. He's going to have a bright future, isn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, speak to the missus, remortgage the house, see if we can put a bid in for uh, the bid in with Rovers. No, he's he's a brilliant kid. Uh, I also thought Lucas Tomlinson was excellent in the first half. Obviously, unlucky with the sending off to be taken off. I think whilst the the pitch was going to expand a little bit more, and he would have come more into it. So, all the boys that we've brought in, a uh, couple with the lads, obviously since we've been into the building, have, have all been brilliant. They've all they've all bought into what we want to do and what we want to achieve. Um, as as you said earlier on, now's the time. You know we can we can enjoy this one tonight, but then Monday morning comes spending more and you know four focus is obviously to get up the league. Well, you've mentioned the sending off there. Uh, half time they've brought on three subs, massive striker, and your centre half goes and gets himself sent off. What's going through your mind? First of all, what actually happened? Um, speaking to Bet Gez, Gez is obviously very annoyed. Um, with the situation, I need to look at it back on the, on the video before making any decisions on that one. Um, saying that, you know, Lucas comes on and, and Tom Harrison that comes in, I thought he was exceptional as well. Tom is, is one of them that's bided his time at the moment, but every time we've called upon him, he's been brilliant. And, um, you know, I thought that second half display, him and Nuge together, uh, air, like obviously they, they, they are a direct side. Um, and they they, combat, they competed well, you know. They, they won their headers. They had to do the one, the second balls, the long throws come into the box, and we defended resolutely, and it was brilliant. So as a, as a back five, that's also a massive confidence boost for, for them as well. Another clean sheet on the board. That's three now since we've had in, we've come into the building, uh, and also goals to, to boot with it. So as I say, generally all random. I'm a happy happy bloke today. Well, you've um, mentioned Tom there. Tom forces his way back into the reckoning. Uh, where's Jordan Thompson? Uh, Jordan's not involved in the moment. Um, just obviously due down to numbers. I think they're, they're, that's something we're going to look at next week. Obviously, what with Gez, uh, Gez's situation. So, for me, you know, I've got lads that can play in that area at this moment in time. And uh, you know, and unfortunately for for Jordan, he's just got to con continue to keep working hard on the training pitch and um, yeah, and, and try and force his way back into the plans. Well, it was cold today. Uh, maybe that was an excuse for a disappointing crowd, but uh, you, you know we've got to get bigger crowds in this, haven't we? I'll be honest with you, I, I, I credit the, the two hundred odd people that come out to watch today because it is a, it is a freezing cold day, and they made and they made some noise, which is 
any atmosphere is a good atmosphere. It doesn't matter if it's a dog barking in the crowd. As long as we're, the, we're making the noise and we're getting behind the lads and the lads are responding, they did that today. So obviously a vast contrast to to Tuesday night where we had a big crowd. Um, and I think the more we progress in this competition and the more people are seeing how the, how the performances are changing and what we're trying to put back into the shirt again, um, I think hopefully we'll, we'll start to get a few more through the door. Well, you've mentioned Wembley before. Um, how, how important is it to these lads? How can can you show them the video of you at Wembley? Will that encourage them? No, they're, they're bored to tears with it. We did a um, we did a presentation yesterday, just showing showing the stadium, and you know, Dorsey's been lucky enough to play there. Obviously, Ledzi was involved as well. Matty was sat on the bench. Um, it's it's a fantastic opportunity, and it's a real opportunity for him to be able to go and take it. And it's like I said to him yesterday, it's an unreal feeling to go and play football. I'm very fortunate. I played there a couple of times in competition. So, for me, the message was was clear and, and simple. Just, you know, progress in this competition. You give yourself a chance to do what, you know, footballers up and down the country might not ever get the chance to do it, but you've got it in the palm of your hand. Um, and to be fair, they've given themselves a chance. We're into the hat, into the next round, and we'll wait and see what we got on Monday. Brilliant. Nice to finish on a positive. Thank you, Lee. No worries.